Hi, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be about retired life. What is retired life? Many people look forward to being retired and then when they get there, oh, what to do, where to go, how to live it. For years and years and years, you are taught to do many things. When you're born, you learn to crawl, learn to walk, learn to talk, how to communicate with people. You, you go to school, get an education, then you get a job, and then you improve your job. So you're constantly learning all the time. And the next thing you get to the age where you retire. But all of them, maybe 50 or 60 years of learning, nobody teaches you what to do when you retire. So you get to 50 or 60 year old and you're retired and then it's, what do I do now? A lot of people that I know, once they're retired, they were a big fish in a little pond and now they're a little fish in a massive pond and some people find it very hard to retire. I loved it, I loved my retirement. I knew for the 10 years before I retired, I was gonna retire at 50 and nothing was gonna change my mind to do that. So I investigated what to do, where to go once I retired. So I had a plan when I retired at 50 years old. And now I've been retired almost 11 years and I've loved every single minute of it. And I can honestly say I've never been bored in the time I've been retired because I've always got something to do. Before I became retired, I learned how to be an electrician. I was a firefighter for 30 years, but I went back to, to college to learn how to be an electrician, knowing far well, once I got to 50 year old and I left the fire brigade, I still needed to maybe make an income. So I sort of secured my working career after the age of 50, if I had to go back to work again. And I've got to say, various other skills that I learned also. I built my own house, so I learned plastering, learned electrics, learned plumbing. So I've learned many, many things. And even now, after being retired for 10 years, I still keep my hand in the electrics. I still do people favors by working in their properties and doing little bits of pieces of DIY. So I'm never bored. Here I am now at my wife's farm. Um, it's 90% finished, so I still do work at my wife's farm to be able to fix the farm up and make it good. Um, so these are the things that I do, so I'm never bored. So people, you need to have a plan when you retire. You need to have a focus of where you're gonna go, what you're going to do. Many people, when they retire, it puts a strain on their relationship. The kids have grown up, maybe he's left home, so then it's the empty nest syndrome. What do you do? Because now you haven't got the kids to look after. Um, maybe it's your wife or your partner still working part-time, so they're, you're at the loose end of what you're going to do. There's a couple of bosses that I used to work for, and I remember him coming into work one day, and he said, he said, my wife told me to get a job. He said, because she didn't want me sat around the house all the time. So he works in the florist, delivering flowers, and he was one of our senior officers, but now he delivers flowers for Interflora. Just to get about the house, get to do something. Now retirement is a long time coming, especially now, the majority of people can't retire until at least 60. So you've got six years to plan for your retirement. Don't just do it over the last year or so, have a plan. Make an effort as to what you're going to do, where you're going to go. I live in Thailand now. The majority of people who live here in Thailand have retired in Thailand of my age. On my YouTube site, the vast majority of people that watch my are between the ages of 55 and 65. So therefore, what do you want? Put some questions in the comments below what you want me to tell you. Um, you're obviously looking at retiring to Thailand. I've, I've got many many answers of people living here in thailand i've lived here for almost 10 years now so i know a lot about living in thailand the, the good the bad the ugly wherever you want to know i can help you out but getting back to retirement you've got to have something to do if you don't have something to do then you'll end up in the bars all the time if you end up in the bars all the time then you'll become an alcoholic i've got a friend of mine now who has gone down that slippery slope and he's in a bad way now with alcoholic dementia and I don't think he's going to be around for too long. Now we had a joint 
55th birthday party together. He was the life and soul of a party. He was fantastic to be with. He was a good workman as well. He also um, had a good work ethic, but the alcohol took over. And now he drinks a box of Leo, which is 12 big bottles almost every day. So his life has gone down the slippery slope of alcoholism. That's because he doesn't, didn't keep himself busy over here. He liked the bars, he liked the entertainment and he's gone down the slippery slope of alcoholism which many people could do here in Thailand so my advice to those people who are due to retire do a lot of studying do a lot of thinking what you're going to do once you've got all day every day on your hands some people can't cope with it some people work until they're 60 and 70 and 80 years old because they don't know anything else. But I've got to say, there is more to life than work. I've never regretted one single day that I retired at the age of 50, and I was happy and proud to say I retired on my 50th birthday. Not many people can say that, but I've done it. Retired on my 50th birthday, travelled the world for two years, been to many, many different parts of the world, lived in different countries for set periods of time, and now I live in Thailand. For me, my channel is retired and living the dream. I am living the dream. It's only because I made plans to be able to do what I wanted to do when I retired. I just didn't start the retirement in the starting blocks and thinking, where do I go from here? What do I do? There are many videos you can watch with regard to retirement. Also, when you retire and you're traveling about a bit, you don't need your possessions. You don't need your brand new cars. You don't need your brand new Apple iPhones, you don't, you, you can travel around minimalistically and look at the people and, and travel around the world and to be retired doesn't mean to say you have to have a lot of money. I live on my private pension from the fire brigade, that is enough for me. I live on £1,200 a month here in Thailand and I live a much more happier, contented lifestyle here in Thailand and that amount of money than I ever could in England. So. Money isn't everything when you retire. It's, it's obviously necessary, you've got to have some money, but it's not the most important thing. You do need money to live and survive anywhere in the world, but you can survive on a little bit of money here in Thailand. And I've done several videos, and please watch them. And you can live on 35,000 baht a month, which is about 700 pounds a month, and 50,000 baht a month, which is like where I live on 1,200 pounds a month it can be done over here so it's just a quick video about people coming to retire prepare for retirement make sure you have a plan when you retire make sure you know what you want to do don't just get to retirement age and then think okay i've got to start now prepare for it so from les retired and living the dream in thailand till the next video bye for now